In this video, I just wanted to give you a brief update about the Madden 23 beta, some of the changes that EA has made to zones, and some of the keys that it is, I think, for Madden 23, just in terms of your offense. I'm going to give you the best, I think, personally, uh, one of the best zone bombs in the game, and also something, uh, just a quick tips um, that you can use to manipulate zone coverage. And then at the same time, I'm also going to be sharing just kind of a quick key uh, for man-to-man, -man because I see man-to-man -man certainly, at least at this point in the year, being the meta right out of the gate for Madden 23. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day we're just trying to help people get better at madden so if you want to get better at the game make sure that you hit the subscribe button and uh, like i said today we're just taking a, a quick look at something from the washington bunch playbook that uh, i just wanted to point out now madden 23 has gone through and this is kind of how betas work and this is kind of how um just something that you i think just need to stay on top of is the way that betas work and also just the way that a launch of a game works is they will change and tweak little things and when they uh, change or tweak those little things, it can actually make some big, big changes just in terms of how zone coverage plays, uh, just in terms of how zones react, what what constitutes a one play touchdown for cover three or cover two or cover four. And so EA has kind of, I think, tuned zones a little bit and actually made this bomb a lot more serviceable uh, than it was previously. So I just wanted to walk you through uh, a quick setup here. Now I'm in Madden 22 to show this, um, but I'm gonna show you the same concept. Now the concept I'm gonna show you in Madden 22 you're going to notice that it won't necessarily uh, be able to beat over the top for a one play score but i will show you some things that you can do to kind of help it but in man 23 trust me this is a one play touchdown and the play is clear out fln now i do want to also quickly point out that they took clear out sc out out of seattle at least in the beta um, but that play does still exist in the game it's in the baltimore playbook and i will also say uh, just while we're talking and visiting here that um that clear out SE out has the, is the same basic principle. These stock fades have been good for years in Madden, and they're back this year. They're still really effective. And I'm going to show you first, um, again, how to use this to manipulate zones. And I'm going to show you how to manipulate an adjustment that you're going to probably get if you run this a lot. So the play is clear out FLM. We're just going to block our running back. We're going to put Miller on a flat. And then on the backside, um, I actually really like this year. Um, to either leave this guy on this route, but if it's press man, you're going to get a lot of man to man, at least in my opinion. And so one of the things that you can do is put this guy, um, Mike Evans, you could put him on a comeback route. That route will beat man to man. Okay, so that gives you a man read on a left just in case you need to check down to it because the two routes on the right are just not that good against man to man. Uh, but anyways, let me just show you this real quick. This is just cover three, and this is just a basic cover three, and I'll show you here that you'll see that this outside third will be able to play this up the seam. In Madden 23, that's not the case, and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to kind of use cover four drop to illustrate this um, because this is more of what you'll see. Now, again, as you notice that my bunch is to the wide side of the field, I'm going to put this guy to inside third. This outside quarter will kind of imitate a little bit more um, of what's going to happen in Madden 23, at least as it is right now if they patch it then that's fine, but uh, just something to kind of stay on top of. So what you'll see here, same setup, and what you'll see is this outside quarter. We'll kind of get this little animation like that right there, and it leaves this open to the sideline for an outside pass lead, especially if you have Aaron Rodgers. Now, the beauty of this is you don't actually need a corner route to pull the third um, in this year's game. You just need a flat or a whip route. You you know you could just do some kind of outside breaking pattern. Now, this is also important to know because this is a concept. Again, concepts always outdo setups. So you could take this flat concept and you can apply it to other things. Let me just give you a quick example. Inside cross from trip side in, put the outside slot on a flat and then put the tight end on the backside on a, maybe a dig or a post. And you'll see that that flat route will actually pull the third to the outside, which will allow the post to come back across his face. Um, so that's just kind of a quick little way that you can um, use this concept. If you want to learn more about this bunch offense, I'm going to be releasing an updated uh, gun bunch offensive ebook. I've already got one in my membership, but I'm going to release an updated one for Madden 23 um, over the course of the next two weeks in, in our in our Patreon page. Um, and you can get all of our ebooks over there for one price of just 10 bucks to get you access to everything. I've got a trips ebook coming out. I got a bunch ebook coming out i got a dollar ebook i got a 335 wide ebook i've got a lot of stuff um that i'm going to be working on just kind of preparing your minds uh for madden 22 
so that we can kind of hit the ground running. So if you want to get access to all that material, we're going to put a ton of material in there. That way you can start kind of using that stuff as we close out Madden 22 in preparation for Madden 23. Now, uh, I just want to show you something else with this. This is also still very good against cover four. Um, so let's say you get like a standard cover four drop. Uh, this is a really good setup against cover four as well. So what you'll see here um, is this this fade. Again, you're just going to outside pass lead this fade. Once he gets, once that guy kind of turns his hips inside, you're going to pass lead that outside. Now, in Madden 22, that actually plays that a little bit better. I'm going to show you a quick pro tip for how to handle that uh, with this tight end seam. Now, I like this tight end seam as it, as it is. But what you can do, if you want to, to kind of help this, is just streak the tight end and that's going to just get him a little bit more up the middle of the field and it'll get that quarter uh to kind of bite on the tight end a little bit better and then again it just leaves a little bit more of an angle to get that out there now again in Madden 22 it's a little bit better defense or it's actually a little bit better in terms of defending this play than it is in Madden 23 but just trust me try it out it's it's really effective and if you have a good if you have a good pass lead ability um in Madden 22 you can actually get that just Brady has kind of a bad uh animation Okay, so now that takes care of the of the bomb. Now I want to show you something else that you're going to see. So this is a very popular adjustment, and this is basically what they're going to do in Madden 23 until this gets patched or until anything changes. Essentially, what they're going to do is, if they're a good defensive player, they're going to take this outside corner, and they're going to put him in a deep half. So they're going to have a deep half here, and then they'll probably have you know an inside third right here, and then they might be in a you know a cover two to the left. Okay, so this deep half adjustment you'll see will play um, fairly well. Now here I actually got a little bit of a step on him, but a lot of times that deep half will play that fade really, really well. Okay, deep halves just in general, they really do a decent job, in my opinion, against bunch this year. Um, just deep halving the bunch side. That being said, I want to move the ball to the short side because a short side setup that you can use to bomb cover two will also help manipulate this cover this uh, deep half adjustment so i'm just going to go to cover two real quick i'm going to put this guy in inside third and we're going to show you how to manipulate a cover two so the best way to manipulate a cover two at least in my opinion is this setup right here and what you'll see is when this deep half kind of turns his body inside you can pass like this all the way to the outside and as you can see there and again brady if you can get the ball to him but as you can see it's right in that little window that you can throw it now back to the cover four situation where they're going to deep half this outside corner now just to illustrate i'm going to back him up just to give him a little bit more room just to try to get the to, to get you to see the animation of what you're going to get here but what i think is really interesting is if you put this deep half out here if i'm on the short side of the field um on offense i can't do this with my bunch to the wide side but with my bunch to the short side you'll see this deep half will suck to the middle of the field like that right there pass lead that way outside and as you can see that's going to bomb it and that's the exact same thing that you're going to find in madden 23 at least in the beta so again i really think this is a key key concept from bunch if you want to run bunch you're going to need to understand how this play works and really start to work with it um, over the course of the launch of Madden 23. Now, if you enjoyed the video, I do want to encourage you to uh, grab our full uh, Gun Bunch ebook. The way to do that is to join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up, and it will get you access to our current Bunch ebook, and it will also get you access to all of our other ebooks. And whenever we release those updates in the coming weeks, you'll be able to get that instantly and be able to stay on top of everything. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to get the Gun Bunch offensive ebook, join the patreon at the link down in the description